I went to Pagal Gaya and all the other forums available on the internet and I tried to see what all processes are actually happening over there. So internet was the primary source of my preparation and uh, just brushing up the communication skills, learning new words for the process, that's it. So uh, for my GE PIVAT, I had not really taken any external help. Uh, I'd prepared on my own. So uh, firstly, I'd done a lot of reading and uh, the Hindu, the Economic Times and Harvard Business Review articles are some things that I really swear by. In fact, I feel that uh, one article every day from the editorial page of any newspaper and I think you're golden, you're good to go. And also, I'd done a lot of talking with a lot of people who are already experienced in this domain. I picked out relevant points from each conversation and then built my own game plan. So, the first thing that you should know about me is that I am atrocious at GK. So, that was a major bad point for me. So, what I did for preparing for GK is uh, have these many internet sites like Jagran Josh and all that to read more and more about it. The other thing that I did was that four or five points that I felt were the strongest suits in me some subjects or topics that I was good at and then I extensively read about them so that I was able to easily navigate the conversation of the interview towards those areas. Okay, so first things first, please have your documents sorted. Okay, so in my case, I didn't have them in the right order that they had already mentioned. So the thing is that they give you everything in order and they're very particular about it. So it only saves time if you're doing it, otherwise they always help you out. They're, they're going to be very helpful through the process, so don't worry about anything. And so I had a document missing. You can call up the GE PIVAT team, talk to them how they can help you out through the whole process. Don't worry, just give them a call and they're going to help you in any case. The other thing that you need to be really sure about is your formal attire. It's good if you dress to the occasion, isn't it? So yeah. So for the GE PIVAT round, you primarily need to be thorough with the documents that you've been asked to bring. Make sure that you have ample attested photocopies of whatever documents, originals that you have. Uh, secondly, just bring in a lot of confidence. Most important thing that you should have on that day are all your documents. SNAP ID, GE PIVAT admit card and all your mark sheets. Along with that, your resume and you should be ready with that. So resume is the bio data, so you should always go through that. Basically, my peer round uh, consisted of uh, general questions at the first, at first, and then it was more diverted towards my work ex experience. So make sure that whatever is written on your CV, uh, you all are well versed with whatever is written on that. And uh, it is important that you all are not bluffing, and the panelists are well aware about whatever they are, whatever criteria they want to evaluate you on. PI round uh, in the initial PI round was like quite tough, but yeah, gradually it was uh, very good. Uh, as I've already mentioned, prepare your academic details and academic curriculum very well and yeah, updated with the general knowledge and current economy. So, like most people, I was very, very, very nervous with my PI round. So, everybody who was coming before me, we were secretly like, what happened, what did they ask and all that. So, the good things about Sims is that they don't test the knowledge per se, they just test the kind of attitude that you have. So, if you go with a positive attitude and, a cur and display curiosity to learn, the interview, is, the interview is half aced. So try and be your authentic self and tell those aspects of your personality that you think would be relevant to the college and towards the stream of management. So contrary to how high my emotions were flowing uh, before the PI round, it went on quite smoothly. In fact, uh, with the panelists, it felt more like a discussion rather than a one-sided conversation. So in my PI round, I was asked questions majorly around my work experience. Uh, what have I done and what were my major achievements at work? How did I go about them? What was the challenge that I faced at work? How did I overcome it and how could I have done better? And then, of course, uh, like there were questions revolving around uh, why an MBA and I had to justify my MBA in two or three lines. So PI went pretty smooth. The judges made you feel comfortable. Afterwards, they asked me questions related to my engineering as well as work. Be confident, be who you are and please do not compare yourself with the others because everyone is a different individual and just project yourself as to why you want to do an MBA and why do you want to come to Sims. Uh, definitely, uh, before the GE private process, it is very important that you stay calm and make sure the previous night you eat well and you sleep well so that uh, this whole process the next day will be smooth. If, there's, if there are a few tips that I'd like to give you guys is please relax guys. 
you can do this everyone's going to be so helpful this is going to be the best ge pivot of your life and i'm going to tell you about placements as well that you will never have it so easy flowing so enjoy in this moment live this entire experience and all the best be confident first of all this is the most important thing that you need to keep in mind if you're not confident you'll not be able to perform well um have courage and uh, yeah just be updated just be thorough with what you know and speak accordingly yeah all the best don't worry chill out take a round of the college see if this is where you want to be because this any mba college especially this one is a place that is ripe for the opportunities it's how you wield those opportunities and that depends on you so all the best and do well so i came with no expectations myself considering this was my first um uh, mba interview process and uh, since i didn't have any expectations it of course exceeded my expectations it went uh, very very smoothly uh, the process was very seamless and they made it very comfortable and very easy to go through it in that we could show a video or we could give you a picture it could be a essay it could be one word for that matter what we are looking for is how can it expresses itself in written format now here we are looking for the thoughts that a candidate collates the analogy that you draw the kind of examples that you give and what uh, meaning do you derive from that uh, word picture or situation then sometimes it is about how you are supporting your answer or decision what kind of um, arguments you have to support your decision for or against the situation now important thing here is not exactly uh, you know that replicating what has been given in the question but how well do you express yourself in written format so grammatically be correct and try to make a good english an expression in written about group exercise its uh, groups are first split into two then we may give um, a picture or a case study or it could be a for and against kind of topic or it could be making a presentation to the panel now group exercises are meant to find out the group behavior of the candidate for example what kind of leadership skills you have then how do you behave within the group how do you present yourself to others how do you take initiative now again here too you have various formats of expression like you can build up a story a jingle a poem or you can make a small skit to make the presentation to the panel about personal interaction panel generally would ask questions based on the candidates bio data it is about knowing the candidate in a better way what competencies a candidate is having it is not about what candidate does not know it's very simple so i would suggest that know yourself well so it's about self awareness goal orientation and general mannerism i would recommend that be calm be yourself uh, do not panic it's very simple and easy process that we follow at sims is get your documents correct and be confident the g pivot process is an extremely important process you have come here based on your snap marks now your snap marks were out of 150 those in the final merit list are going to be scaled down to out of 50 so even if you've done exceedingly well in your snap the marks get reduced to out of 50 and if you've not done so well again the impact gets reduced by 1/3 so therefore doing well in g pivot is equally important irrespective of whether you've done well in your snap or not done well in your snap so ultimately as i said there is nothing to prepare you need to only practice on how to say because the answer that you give is what is going to get you the marks and we can differentiate between each candidate who has conveyed what and we give marks accordingly i am sure this will put you to ease because there is nothing to cram be your normal self if you are your normal self you can speak your thought process will be better you can articulate your thoughts and convey what you want to convey succinctly clearly concisely So with this I'm sure each one of you will perform very well as everyone does every year that I have noticed the difference between one candidate who is selected and the other candidate who is not selected goes up to third decimal the difference may be in terms of you know 
whatever 69.235 as against 69.234 or 69.233 that is the difference between one who's made it and who's not made it there is no other major difference so do well perform well wish you all the very best and hope to see you in sims shortly first for the jeep i went and of course if you are selected then as a student in sims thank you